Hi and welcome back to my channel. So the date today is the 30th of June which means it's July tomorrow and I thought we could do a little monthly reset together. This is something that I've been doing at the end of every month basically so far this year and I normally share it on my TikTok but I thought we could do a bit of a longer more in-depth version on my YouTube. So yeah I have made myself an iced coffee ready for it. So I have my 2023 diary here and I'm going to go and sit down at my desk and I'm going to look through this diary see what's happening in July. There's quite a few things going on so yeah so I do like to do a little bit of reflection so I'm going to look back at my June goals and then use that to create my new July goals and just talk you through that process and I'm also going to be showing you how I budget for the month next month is going to be quite different so yeah I need to sort of reorganize that re reassess the budget so yeah we can do that together then I'm going to do a bit of cleaning just freshen up this room a little bit and then it'll be a bit of self-care. So yeah, I'm gonna move onto my desk now and start talking you through this whole planning process. So I am just gonna have a little look through my diary now, see what's happening in July, see if I need to write anything down, if there's any birthdays or literally anything. I also write all of my bills down in here. So when I'm working out my budget, I can just look in what's happening in the month ahead and what's going to be coming out of my bank account. So my rent for my uni house, which I'm moving into on the 5th of July. So next Wednesday, as I'm filming this, um, the rent was due. The rent is due tomorrow. I've already paid it. So obviously I looked ahead. I knew that that was due. So I've paid that and that will also be worked into my budget also if, if there is any clutter behind me that's why it's because i'm moving house so obviously i've had to use this room as a bit of a dumping ground so do ignore it if it's a bit messy and then i've also got an internship so i've got meetings on monday and tuesday and friday so i can plan around them and i've also got an in-person meeting on the week after and then it is also my nephew's birthday so I know I need to sort out his present and do all that. I also put down, because I'm also like self-employed so I also put down any invoices that are due and then when I have been paid I just tick it off. Um, and then it is my birthday, it's my 21st birthday on the 27th and on the 28th we've also got tickets to go and see Peter Kay. So yeah that is all the plans for the month. I can't think of anything else that I need to write in at the moment. Obviously, if any plans do happen or any more meetings come up or anything, I will write it in here. But yeah, I think I can move on to looking at goals now. So I'm not going to show you like the full extent of these because obviously some of them are kind of personal as well. But I did actually start off the year with some big yearly goals. So I actually haven't really looked at this much, I don't think. Sometimes I will look at it before I start creating the monthly goals, but... Yeah, so I just got some 2023 goals. So do you know what? We're gonna mention some of those and I've, I just think it's quite fun to like reflect on what I wanted. One of the goals I put here is read 15 books and this is something that I'm really bad at because I literally every month in my goals I've put read two books, read two books. Do I ever read it? No. So I think I also need to start being a bit more specific and a bit more realistic. Another thing I've put on here, so I've always sort of wanted to do YouTube, it's always been like in the back of my mind basically, but I didn't really, I did put it as a goal obviously so I did want to and I put start YouTube, I put post at least 12 times, this is going to be my fourth video I think, so already that's going pretty well really and I've also put a thousand subscribers, I don't know if that is a bit too ambitious to say that i didn't even know i was going to start so i've also put that i want 50,000 tiktok followers <laughs> i feel like that's really again i i think i must have just been a bit ambitious and thought you know what why not i've also put buy new equipment i put new phone i did buy a new phone in january i think or february um i put camera so again i must have wanted to do it so i I've done that and I've also put microphone I was actually considering buying that but I just thought it was a bit unnecessary so maybe in the future I've also put to get a first at uni hopefully that happens but and yeah a few of the other ones they aren't really like exact goals they're just sort of random sort of things so let's have a look at June now 
so i have right one two three four five six seven i do seven categories so it's health and wellness personal growth social media healthy habits finance work and fun so in health and wellness i want you to do five five times 10,000 steps weekly so five days where i will be doing 10,000 steps i definitely do want to up my step count i think i have been getting more steps in to be honest but yeah i don't think i achieved that i put one gym session weekly i would say i think i have done that and then in personal growth like i said i put read two books did not happen social media i put 8,500 tiktok followers i think i'm on 8,400 right now so we're not too far out. I also put five lots of 10k plus view TikToks. Let's check if I did that because I'm really not sure actually. We have got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I did exactly that. I achieved that goal. And I also put 250 YouTube subscribers. I think I'm on 199. In healthy habits, which is sort of stuff that I want to do every day, I put movement every morning, which yeah, I would say I've pretty much done. I've put include more types of workouts. So I've been doing a Pilates challenge, which is something I wouldn't normally do. I put wake up before 8am. I've been waking up at like 7 um drink more water that is something i definitely need to do i have not achieved that really i put read before bed have not done that in finance i just put stick to budget which we're gonna see if i have i think i have um yeah and then yeah nothing from the other categories are really worth including so i'm just gonna leave it at that for june so what i'm going to do is sort of think about the goals that i've included in here and to be honest month to month i don't actually change it up that much just because i feel like it is quite in line with what i want to achieve so i only really need to slightly change them every month and to be honest it is just a bit of a reminder of what i need to be doing i've just grabbed a piece of white card and i'm just going to start making the sections i've just moved you down here so you can see what i'm actually doing but i've just made nine boxes and then i'm just going to put july in the middle and then like i said before these are all the different categories and then this is what it ends up looking like and i usually put like three four five goals in every category obviously these two are the same because they're like daily habits that's sort of like the biggest one but yeah i'm just gonna write down all of these and then i will let you know what i've come up with also i am definitely not an artist and you can tell by these rubbish drawings i just try to make it look a bit more a little bit more colorful a little bit more something to it okay i finished writing down all of my goals and i'm gonna give you a really quick run through because like i said before it's pretty similar to last month but let's go through it so health and wellness i still want to do 10,000 steps i've said four times a month i'm going to finish a pilates challenge and increase protein intake personal growth i've just put read one book because i feel like that's a bit more realistic and i need to procrastinate less and get the to-do list done social media i've put a goal of 8,700 tiktok followers then i want to post four youtube videos at least and i've kept the same goal of 250 subscribers then for healthy habits i've put movement every morning again and waking up before half seven now consistently and definitely need to drink more water finance i just want to stick to budget and i'll explain that later so now i'm going to move on to the budgeting this is a notebook i use to write down my budget very random but i actually haven't wrote down any of the spending that i did in june so i need to go through my bank statement basically and write down what i was spending so i thought the best way to explain my whole budgeting thing would be to just show you um so basically this is june's month i have just blocked out what my earnings were just because you know i don't want to put that out there but um i will show you what i spent so this is only these three categories so it's sort of things that i don't plan for but it's just spending so obviously you can see that they're just really random things i did a big clothes order as well and then i will show you this month so this i have actually that is my student loan which i actually don't get until october i think but i know what i'm getting so i just thought i'd spread it out across like the whole year and then because obviously that's going to go towards my rent as well 
so i will put those in after and then these are all the bills so subscriptions and then rent i will be having to pay like gas and electric on top of this but obviously i don't know how much that's going to be yet so i've just left it for now and then these are my spending categories so basically what i used to do i used to have these little um what are they called cash envelopes so i used to use cash i used to get a certain amount of cash out every month and then put them in these and then that's what i could spend but now i'm kind of finding um cash to be a bit of a faff so i'm switching it all over to my bank so i bank with monzo which has different you can get like different pots so you can sort of sort your money into different categories which i already have pots for all of these and that's how i've always done it so all i'm doing is swapping these over to pots rather than the envelopes with the money and also anything left over so like this is what was left over in the categories this month i used to put towards a little like savings challenge but i actually finished that last month so i'm not going to do that anymore that is actually what i used to buy this camera but now i'm just going to keep adding it to the pots and sort of letting it roll over if you know what i mean so then if i put a lot in say like this month i won't need to put as much in next month which is the same way that it works for these sinking funds so the sinking funds are things that are a bit more long term like christmas obviously ages away but i've been saving all year so when it gets to christmas i don't need to save as much travel that's also holidays and it's also stuff like train tickets so literally anything to do with travel is in there home that's a newer category that i've added obviously because i'm moving house next week so i've started saving for like all the little things that i'll need for that so yeah anything that i spend just comes out of those pots but i don't track that i don't track that spending in like this bit just because it'd be a bit long so this is just all like unplanned spending really where these are kind of long term and a bit more planned for but obviously my budget is really different next month because i've got a lot more rent to pay i'm gonna have the food shopping to pay i'm just gonna be spending a lot more money than what i was before so that means i'm gonna give myself a lot more money to sort of play with this month so this is definitely not what i would normally give myself but i just sort of want to build these pots up obviously because they will have this amount in but obviously that's not enough to get me through the month so i will be topping them up a lot this month so yeah hopefully that makes sense i did just want to try and explain my thinking behind all of this i know a lot of people do it digital but i am definitely more of a paper planner kind of person which is why i do all this it doesn't take me that long to do and it just sort of like it helps my brain to like see it out on the paper if you get what i mean and then i can just go into monzo and just move my money around like that so obviously i don't want to say how much i'm earning but i'm going to work that out now and i will tell you how much i'll put in the spending categories just to give you a little idea like i'll tell you what i put in last month so last month in food shopping was nothing obviously because i'm at home going out i put 40 pounds in i only went out once but that did almost wipe out the budget self-care i put 120 pounds in because i did do a big boohoo order i also did do a big asos order but because i haven't tried it on yet i don't know what i'm sending back i'm going to move that towards july spending which is kind of cheating a bit but <laughs> i don't know what i'm going to be sending back and i don't have the budget for it this month so i'm just going to transfer it to there and then for spending i gave myself 40 pounds difference between self-care and spending spending is just like the little random things that i have to buy like i think from amazon i had to buy a case for this camera so that's not really self-care so it just goes into the spending sort of like mis miscellaneous miscellaneous but however you say it and then self-care is anything like toiletries makeup skincare clothes anything for me basically which is quite a lot so these are the amounts that i've decided to go with with food shopping i'm thinking that's going to be an average 30 pound every week and obviously i'm not taking any food with me when i move out so everything is going to have to be bought and then i am actually back at home for a couple of weekends which is why i've sort of thought that it might average out going out i have put 100 i never normally put this much i only ever put 40 or 50 but i'm thinking obviously it's my 21st birthday so i'm gonna be going out a bit obviously I might be going for meals as well self-care i've given myself 150 um again i've got that asos order and if i do want to buy myself anything it's my birthday month why not <laughs> And spending i've just put down 50 obviously this is usually like really random things that i can't really plan for so i just thought just to build up the pot a bit i'd put a little bit extra in these this month 
and then anything left over from that will go towards the sinking funds it will be split between these and then the majority of it usually goes to the savings as well and savings is just for any sort of big purchases really like if i ever wanted a new car i dip into savings if i need a house deposit i'll dip into savings like that's what that is for so yeah that is what i do for budgeting i hope that was kind of helpful as well in case anyone wants to sort of make a budget for themselves because i know obviously like a lot of students sort of struggle with that especially starting at uni and having all these different bills and different outgoings and like not knowing how to sort of stop spending i think in the future as well a video i'd love to do when i'm like when uni has started again is a what i spend in a week as a student because i think that'd be quite helpful as well as for people that are starting uni just to see how much you need to expect to spend but i am done with budgeting now so it's time to move on to cleaning hi so it's a bit later now and i'm about to do my eyebrows so i thought i would sort of talk you through what i do and how i do them so i use the miley kit this is the activator and this is the eyebrow tint it's actually also an eyelash tint kit as well but i literally bought this well i bought a kit in lockdown i think it was because that's when i first had to start doing my own eyebrows because my hair is natural this color but my eyebrows aren't there basically translucent if i didn't tint them and i do like them being quite dark so yeah i bought this kit in lockdown and the activator is actually still the same one i bought in lockdown and it's still got that much left if you can see that um I, and i think i'm on my second lot of brow tint and it doesn't look like there's a lot here but you only need a tiny bit i'm probably yeah i'm probably like halfway through this and it's my second one in what like three years so yeah that was super good value it's not expensive at all i think i'm not sure how much the kit is but i want to say it's probably like 20 pounds or something and you get the activator the tint this little glass thing the brush i'm not sure if you've got anything else but that's all you need basically so i'm just taking off any product off of my eyebrows right now and then i get the tint and i usually always use more than what i need but i try to get like the tiniest bit and just squeeze like a little bit in literally like that much and then i get the activator and literally just do a few drops in there like about four i'd say and then just mix it up it's literally the easiest thing ever and it lasts i probably do this like once a month and it really does last a month she's just going to start like coating my eyebrow with it now i try to be like pretty neat with it but it does actually wash off the skin like really easily this one so i'm not usually like too bothered because i have a lot of really blonde hairs that i want to like catch with the tint so that is both eyebrows fully tinted and i look crazy right now but um i'm gonna leave this on i usually leave it on only like about just over five minutes i think so i'm just gonna clean everything up and then i will be back to take it off right i'm just gonna start wiping them off now just getting some micellar water on a pad that looks pretty dark i quite like that color actually and the other eyebrow that feels so much better to have fresh brows but i'm gonna wax them a little bit now i'm using these it says beauty formulas aloe vera wax strips i have no idea where i got these from but they are really good because i used to love the poundland ones but i think they changed the formula and then they went a bit rubbish these ones i don't even know where i bought them from and they are amazing get what i do is i will get a strip and then i'll cut it in half and then cut it again so this is it in half and then this is it again and then that's sort of like the perfect size to get underneath the eyebrow i feel like i haven't got much light in here sorry if you can't see but i need to look in the mirror to see what i'm doing that literally got off so many hairs okay so that is both eyebrows like roughly waxed sometimes i will like sit here and wax and pluck for ages but most of the time i just do it a bit messy and when it's like really light as well tomorrow i'll probably pluck a few more but i can't really see what i'm doing at the moment so i'm just going to take a couple of these up here 
and then i'm just going to go in the shower now to wash off that excess tint i'm also going to do a body scrub again tonight um i would wash my hair but i want to do it tomorrow on saturday so i'm just gonna have a body shower wash this tint off and do a body scrub <music> I am all fresh out the shower, all exfoliated, moisturised and yeah, obviously I have washed the tint off my eyebrows but they do look really red obviously because I waxed. But now I'm going to do this face mask which is a body shop one. It's the Himalayan charcoal one, um, purifying glow mask. I just find that this is really good for, I basically put it on like my T-zone and my chin because it's really good for like extracting like pores. And you'll see when it dries, it goes like it literally attaches to your pores and exfoliates them and purifies them basically. It actually works really quickly as well, like it dries down quite quickly. I have really oily skin as well, so this is like really good for me to do. I should, probably should be doing it every week, I'll probably do it every, oh, maybe every two weeks. The only thing I struggle with it is that it is kind of tricky to wash off, like you really need to scrub at it. Well, obviously it's worth it. I'm also just going to take it out on my cheeks a little bit just because I find that the, like, I find that this area can get quite oily as well. I just went to wash it off my hands, but you can already see how it's starting to tighten and dry on my chin. Just like a bit of a nice end of the month treat to just do some self-care and just feel fresh. So I am back and I can barely talk because the mask has really dried down. <laughs> But as you can see, it's really picked up on like all of the pores and it's fully dry now. It's really tight. So I'm just going to go and wash this off. I have just washed it all off and my skin feels like so smooth and fresh. I love it when I've washed it off. Um, now I'm just going to do a little bit of skincare. I say a little bit because I kind of feel because my skin is so fresh and so like sort of new after like exfoliating it sort of thing that I shouldn't really be putting too many like chemical bits on. So I'm just going to go in with my trusty The Ordinary Niacinamide because this is my favourite thing ever. This is my favourite skincare thing. I always use this. Again, it's really good for oily skin. So I'm going to put some of this on. And then all I'm going to do now is just put some moisturiser on. I'm going to use the CeraVe one. I do prefer this one just in the evening um, because it is kind of heavy. It is for dry skin. So for me i find that it's best in the evening and i normally just use the plain nivea soft one in the morning i absolutely love that moisturizer it's one of my favorites but yeah i'm just gonna put a little bit of this i always end up getting too much of this out and i have to like take it all day in my neck so yeah i just feel like that was a really nice way to end the month and prepare for the start of a new one i do hope you liked watching my little monthly reset routine i guess i will be posting a little tiktok of it as well but so yeah, I am just feeling so prepared for a new month, a very busy month of moving out, birth my birthday, my 21st, and yeah, there's just a lot of stuff happening. So if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a big like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.